me, I'll write down a little tree which explains what media is all about. If you are a part of the media infrastructure company, this is, this is here, it's typically here. You would be a technician, you would be a camera person, you could be a P PCR operator. S uh, we call, uh, there is an interesting term which is called a switcher. I don't know how many of you know it. Switcher is a person who decides which camera angle, which camera frame would what do you want to take? For example, in a, if, it, if it's a cricket match, there are about 28 cameras which are running and there is one guy who's called the switcher who actually decides which frame the audience is going to see. So he's a very important guy, you know, so that's called a switcher. You, ha you can be an IT professional because most of the infrastructure now is operated on computers and by computers. If you're in a printing press, you could be a machine operator which is now a very, very highly skilled job because most of the printing machines and systems and printing presses are run out of computers. If in a printing press, you could be into the binding operations, binding operations, or you could be the, somebody who manages a printing press. These may look like low paid, low skill jobs, but they are the things which actually produce and get you the newspaper in the morning. If you do not have these people, nothing will happen. A product cannot go to the market if it is not produced. If you do not produce a product, these, cars, these guys can't sell it. If these guys can't sell a product, these companies can't sustain. So these guys are the people, you know, who actually, actually run the entire media industry and the number of jobs in these areas are the largest and they are something that most of the media managers in the world start with because unless until you have the skill to be one of these, you would not know how to create a product. You would not know how to scale a product, how to, how to sell a product. So, being one of these is, is, is a very good place to start. Coming to where the business of media really happens. It's the people in the PR and the advertising, in the advertising world. On the top of the list is somebody called a creative director. A creative director is the guy who along with a script writer or a copywriter you would say writes the ad or creates the copy or the communication which is to be given to given for a certain product to be sold to people below them will come people like planners in advertising agencies salespeople who will go to different companies and to media salespeople are get divided into two. There are people in media sales and there are people in sales. People in media sales go to media companies to buy space. People in sales will go to companies other than the media companies to sell this space. Right? So these are the people you know who, these are the people who make the most amount of money. So if you're in Masco Media, please ask your teachers, please ask your faculty, please ask the organization and please ask the environment to figure out, you know, how you become one of these. It is not an easy job. It is something which cannot be taught. It is something which comes on your own. It is something which comes to you after you work very, very hard and you understand what this whole video game is all about, right? Then you have people in scheduling. Scheduling are the guys who will, under, who will tell you what ad is to be printed when and when uh, what news clip TVC has got to be 
produced and shown at what time in a, in a television channel. And top of it all, you know, we have a big area which is called survey. The guiding line for which media to buy for these guys is going to be a survey. A survey tells which media is good, which media is bad, which media has got more uh, propensity to be able to sell a certain brand and so on and so forth. So there are surveys, you must have heard about something called a TAM rating. There is something called Audit Bureau of Circulation. There is something called the Indian Readership Survey, which is called the IRS. These three things together tell people like Hindustan Levers, Airtel, Tata's, Reliance as to which television channel and which program to buy. So if you look at the entire story, depending on this survey, a product has got to be chosen. Product means, you know, let's say nowadays it is the dance programs. So if the dance programs have a high TAM rating, so the product is a dance program which is going to be sold by this sales guy for the space which this media sales guy has bought from, let's say, ZTV. And ZTV will produce the dance show by using this setup which is going to be created and the show is going to be created by this setup. So this is how the entire web of media works. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm giving you a very fast rundown onto it, but this is how it works. Or this is how any industry for that matter will work. So you have to, as media people, as before you become, before you choose a career, you have to first become a media person. You have to understand what media is all about. You have to understand what the landscape is all about. And then you have to choose what kind of a tree or a plant or an animal you want to be in that. So that's the idea of telling you all this. Thank you.